hello friends welcome to expert youtube channel today in this tutorial video we'll be going to learn about how to transfer data from one sheet to a specific sheet with vba macro in excel reason being over here you can see i have four sheets other than this dashboard sheet that is cash debit card credit card and net banking and if person has to make any kind of expenses either through cash debit card credit card net banking they can send specific data from here to that specific sheet so what we have to do here is we have to fill up these following things here and then click on the specific button and then we have to click over here on the specific button to visit that specific sheet rather than clicking over here coming up and down and clicking at the bottom it takes a lot of time and it's mind stressing as well and here you can see right now i have mentioned cash debit card credit card net banking and I have given color coding to them as well. And here you can see I have your serial number over here from H3 to K3. And these serial numbers will change over here depending on the option being selected over here in payment mode. And similarly, you can see here what are the expenses being made upon? Is it the purchase or expenses are being made through physical contact or through online visits? Of payment and here also you can see the total expenses of cash debit card credit card and net banking do not have to worry about calculating all those stuffs what kind of expenses you have made and through which source you have made so here you will learn all those things so let's visit to our first sheet that is cash sheet here here you can see in d4 I click one and then I go to home tab and here in fill I clicked on series and then you have to click on columns and here in the step value one is being filled by default and you have to fill up to which value you need series of number so I clicked up to 20 and you can see here I have got 1 to 20 series over here similar process I have to follow for other worksheets too so in a quick succession I'll just fill up those two so I have filled series of 1 to 20 in all these four sheets now i have to click on data and you can see here in serial number we have to use counter formula and click on tab then we have to go to cash here we have to select all these up to 20 from e column then we have to close the bracket and plus one you can see here serial number one has come up over here similar thing we have to do it for other sheets too by now you have seen i have filled all these with by using counter formula and whenever i clicked over here in payment mode if i clicked on cash then cash serial number will come up over here which is empty reason being if i go to cash and here some data is being filled in number one row then it will display two over there here it will display two Similarly, you have to click over here now go to data tab and here go to data validation Go to data validation click here list and here you can see I have pre-filled This list over here because I have mentioned all these names to be selected in payment mode So I clicked ok similarly we have to click on purchase mode and Then we have to go to data and go to data validation over there select list and you can see here it's been pre-filled regarding physical or online the purchase mode now what we have to do is we have given color coding if i select over here debit card the color is being changed right now so this has to be done with the purchase mode too so we click on home tab after clicking in the cell purchase mode then go to condition formatting here go to text that contains and here the first is p means physical then we click over here and click on custom format and wait for a bit and you can see here now pop-up is being opened and here we have to change the color of the font to white and the fill the background color regarding physical we need blue and then we click ok then we hit ok here same way we have to go back again over there and go to text that contains this time we have to fill for online and we've just mentioned the first word O and then custom format and here fill color needs to be red and the font color needs to be white 
and we hit OK and outside we come up and hit OK. This time if I click on physical it changed the color and if I click online it changed the color. So friends this is what we have just made our dashboard and now we have to make these buttons. So we have to go to insert tab here go to shapes and choose any of the format just click over there you have to make it like this way and you can go to text and then write over here cache and you can see here the color designs are being available you can click on anyone like right now I have prepared over here all these boxes you have to prepare another three boxes like the way I just mentioned you for the so now friends you have to click right click on the button and go to hyperlink and here you have to go to into place in this document and here you will find the name of the sheet which is cache so if I click on this button I should go to cache sheet and click OK so now if I click outside and here I click on cache then you can see here I have visited to cache sheet so in a quick succession I just fill up hyperlink for all these three buttons I have mentioned added hyperlink to all these three buttons now we need one more button so we go to cache and we prepare one more button over here which is data so it is being prepared like I mentioned the sub steps earlier so I do control that over here so I have to link it with the data sheet so I right click over there go to hyperlink go to place in this document and here you find the name data the sheet name click OK click outside click on data you ended up on the main dashboard sheet so what you need is you need this button on rest of the three sheets too so just copy it and paste it over there so I do it in a quick succession so now we need these four buttons over here so how I have prepared these four buttons you have to go to developer tab go to insert and here you can see button what you have to do is you have to select it like this you have to design it and click inside and change the name like I have mentioned over here that's how I have prepared all these three buttons you have to again visit over there go for another button then design it over here and mention the name over there so we right click over here we go to assign macro and we go to new here so once we come up here you can see here the button name is sub button 15 underscore click open parenthesis and close parenthesis so here we have to mention the code so we have to write bim xm as long bim y as worksheet so we have to set the y set y equal to equal to sheets and the name of the sheet where we wanted to send our data is cache sheet and now we have to send xm equal to sheets cache sheet where the data to be sent dot range e column and rows dot count dot and excel up so let me make you understand about this the cache sheet dot range e e is the column from where the data going to be filled up because serial numbers are already filled up so here and rows dot count it has to count the rows downside dot and excel up means a data to be filled after this heading that's why the x and excel up formula is being used up over here dot row so with y we need dot cells bracket start xm plus one comma fifth and we have to mention dot value means the data we get over here from y that is data sheet it should mention in x in cache sheet plus one that it also take up the next row and starting from the fifth column that is a column where the data to be taken it is sheet double quotes data the sheet name and we have to mention the range the range is d5 I just show you in a bit dot value that dot cells xm plus one 
the data to be displayed over here and it also taken plus one this next row but from fifth column that is payment mode equal to from where the data to be taken from data sheet and this is a cell number d5 it should take data from here from d5 until d10 mention data for fifth column we have to use this same for another left columns too you can see here i have mentioned coding for another columns too in which the data to be displaying from respective cells and i have changed the cells reference over here and i have changed the column number over here rest of the coding is same now what happens we have to end with and we need to clear the contents too so we need, i have to put up the coding thing is dream ab as worksheet ab what ab has to do is data fill in data data sheet needs to be clear once it's been transferred to another sheet and its range is from d5 to d10 dot clear contents so let's check this first if i click over here and go to cache sheet and here i mention the date what you have to do here is go to home tab go to number and here go to date select this date particular which you would like to display over here i have mentioned this one and i clicked ok then you have to select reference to which source you have made the payment so you have purchased shirts first and two shirts being purchased 1000 for total being paid now i hit on cash button and you can see here my data is being cleared over here click on cash button over here you can see that my data is being transferred over here similarly we have to go back to developer tab and we have to copy this code and go to another button similarly we have to go to assign macro and paste it over there you can see here i have mentioned coding for each of the button in its respective button but you have to make sure you have to change the name from cash to debit card over here as well at two places and rest of the coding is being same similarly you have to change the name for credit card and for net banking then you have to close this and now if i click over here on debit card you can see here my serial number has come up over here but friends to show serial number rightly over here you need a formula so what is a formula i just display you over here that is a formula means if this is equal to double quote starts cash double quote close then what happens then this number to be display here again we have to use nested if means we are using a formula time and again for three four times again this time if i hit over here and it is equal to debit card then put comma here what happens then it display number of debit card again we have to use a formula this time again i click here put equal to sign double quotes credit card double quotes close and this time i want to display serial number of debit cards we are using if for final time if this cell changes to net banking and it is equal to this term that is net banking and show me the serial number of net banking and then you have to put comma here double quotes if it won't find any of these references then it shows nothing you have to close it three times four times and then hit okay now you can see here friends if i change my 
payment mode to cash then my serial number is changed because it is showing number two row is the second number where the data is going to be displayed here if i fill up the data of cash sheet now here we will like to fill up data for debit card and the date and the purchase mode is physical and you can see here product name is jeans 1 2000 and i hit on debit card you can see it is now clear and if i go to debit card my data is being displayed over here what i'll do i just copy it for three four times so right now it should display the serial number four if i go to data sheet you can see here it displays serial number four and again if i go to here and fill up data for credit card and i fill date this time shirts being purchased five shirts 2500 rupees 2500 being paid and i click on credit button and i go to credit here we will go for net banking and here Here I have mentioned electricity bill and payment is only made one time and the amount of the electricity bill is 6000 and then I hit on net banking button and here if I go to net banking you can see here my data is being filled up over here. So first now we have to get the total here regarding respective term so we use sum if formula here click on tab button then we have to go to cash sheet here here it is being asking for some range. So my sum range is from J3 to J23. Now I put comma here. It's being asking for criteria range 1. I need to know about how many payments are made, made for online or physical purchase mode. So to split this, I have to select the range. Then I put comma. Now my criteria range is I have to go back to data sheet. My criteria range here is data G5, which is a cell number G5. And I hit OK. And you can see here I am able to know in the cash sheets that following payments are being for made through physical contact and here I have to use formula for rest of the debit card credit card net banking sheets and you have to use the same formula but what you have to do here is you have to copy this and hit OK then here put equal to sign paste the formula this time you have to mention G6 rest of the formula is same and you are able to know in the cash sheet the following payments are made for physical contact or through online purchase mode similar functions you have to follow for debit card credit card net banking we need to get over here and we need to know about this sum to get it we will again not adding these two values we will go here to get cross check and we click click up to j23 and hit ok and similar thing we have to follow up for debit credit and net banking that's the way we have used vbm macro coding to transfer data from one sheet to specific sheet and able to know the amount of money being spent through different sources and whatever data we fill up over here it will take the right serial number i hope you like this video friends please like share and subscribe explore youtube channel so i can bring up more videos for you thank you for watching this video